All right, my friends, we're talking handstand push-ups. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna talk about kipping handstand push-ups first. And we're gonna start with kipping handstand push-ups on the ground. We're gonna move from a tripod position, a headstand position, to a push-up position. I think that's the most scaled version of what a kipping handstand push-up can be. So let's go downstairs. Let's go over here. Hup, we're back on the ground. There are two positions we wanna hit. One, the headstand. Two, the push-up. That movement I just did there was actually the motion that I want you guys to practice. But we're gonna do it step by step. The first one we're gonna do is we're gonna break it down into two parts. One is gonna be going from a tripod or headstand to a plank, but with my head still on the ground. And then from there, the second part is gonna be push myself up off the ground. So I'm gonna go kick out, press up. It looks like this. Headstand, I press my legs out, I push myself up, two part movement. If that feels good, now we can advance this and do it a little faster. We're actually gonna kick the legs out and from that kick out, we're gonna allow it to pick our head off the ground. So I go headstand, kick out, and it pulls my head off the ground. If I am doing this correctly, what you'll notice is that by driving the hips and the legs explosively out of the hole, is gonna really pick up my upper body. I'm not gonna have to utilize my upper body to finish that plank position. So practice that two-part movement, feet first, press up, and then once you got that, aggressive kick. That aggressive kick can now actually be uh, detrimental if you lose position. And position in this case is gonna be head position and foot position. As I go into that kipping headstand push-up to my plank position, I wanna make sure that my head doesn't pop out. I wanna keep my head in. So I kick out, look at my feet. That is gonna make sure that my midline or my spine from head to hips is stable. And then the second thing I want you to be careful in terms of position would be the feet. I'm gonna give you a crotch shot right now. As you kick out, I want you to not allow the feet to go out to the side, but to actually stay together. That feet together position is gonna make sure that the force that you're generating and applying from the hips is actually gonna go in the direction that you wanna go, which is back into your push-up. So, kipping handstand push-up into a plank position, super basic level for kipping handstand push-up, great entry level, practice it.